Hello, and welcome to the watering hole. Thanks for checking out this clip. Don't forget to like and subscribe because that'll make the baby Jesus cry. And I know how much you guys love making the baby Jesus cry. Cardinal, I barely know her. That doesn't work, sir. That doesn't. What are you saying? All right. What, what story do you want to cover next? You want to get one that you're going to take the lead on? Oh, am I taking the lead on him? You're taking yeah, the lead on the Kiwi sure, Farms yeah. ones and the Queen of Kanda one. I don't know why you're taking the Queen of Kanda when she's my queen, but. That's true. Did I send you uh, an article about the Kiwi Farms deal? No, I sent you an article and you said that one's fine. I probably didn't care which one it was. Which one did you send me? <laughs> the Guardian. I don't, I, I don't, I, you know, I don't, oh man, the Guardian with their fucking ad blocks and sometimes paywalls. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Um, I... uh, what's that? I I, uh, I generally crop the Guardian pretty liberally. Yeah. Yeah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, Kiwi Farms is dead. Uh, I mean, they're trying. So Kiwi Farms, for people who don't know, is basically you take something like 4chan and you just go like, here's even less rules. And then you get 8chan. And then 8chan's like, okay, but we still have a couple rules. And then you get Kiwi Farms. And yeah. Kiwi Farms was like, Let's have a community of people who get together and we all agree that we all hate the same people. And so Kiwi Farms for years has had pages on trans people. I've, I've, I had a page on Kiwi Farms, but I have a white penis, so they never really came hard after me. You know, maybe a couple of live chat raids, but, you know, it was never significant because of because uh, of my white cock. Uh, the the Kiwi and, and a, a cis white cock, to be clear, because there are plenty yeah. of white trans people. Uh, who got it plenty. Uh, so, so my cis white cock got me a lot of exceptions, but certainly a lot of, uh, even the women that I, uh, and trans people that I collabed with would often end up on Kiwi farms. And it basically was a harassment hub where they'd sort of work together to dox and make people feel afraid yeah. and feel terrorized. And, 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 and so they had gone after, uh, many people and, would show up at times just to like even take photos outside of these people's residences. So for example, yeah. you have uh, years ago, Time Magazine, I think it was featured a photo of a nine-year-old girl who was trans, who had had, had socially transitioned and, and was wearing clothes and, and long hair and stuff. And uh, immediately um, her, her parents get doxxed. And during a snowstorm, they, they, they have people showing up during an actual snowstorm to take photos of the outside of her house. Uh, and, and so, um, it, it has been taken, the Kiwi farms is basically like a harassment, it's doxing, terrorizing threats, saying they're going to show up to bomb people, uh, saying they're going to show up to detransition people. There was one person from Kiwi farms who, posted a video directed toward Keffels and, and Keffels is the sort of uh, trans person and activist that all of this is centered around uh, because of Keffels. Uh, uh, it, it started with Keffels conflict between herself and the quartering uh, previously oh, called, is God, that destiny? That... Is that, what's wait, that? Wait, the quartering had a different name before he was the quartering? Is Dest was it, uh, now I'm getting some details his, mixed his up. His name is Jeremy. Is she either at, Okay, there's there's a there's a someone called Destiny. I think she just. I've seen. I don't the remember name if Destiny, the conflict. I don't the, remember who it is. Is the original conflict Destiny or the quartering? And is Destiny and the quartering the same person? Because I'm bad at I, <laughs> keeping some of these details. I do not know. Line. I don't know who Destiny is. I do know who the quartering is. Um, the quartering is the guy who's obsessed with uh, what's her face that plays Captain Marvel. Yeah, he, Alison Brie. Yeah, he, he made like dozens of videos on why captain marvel was gonna suck or did suck. okay so there's a conflict somewhere with i want to i kind of feel like it was somebody called destiny who got booted off of twitch because of the transphobia stuff that was directed toward calf keffels so it could have been uh uh okay someone told me destiny is someone else you got well, which one was it you got not corrected the on the, the name for captain marvel is brie larson not allison brie well, I love them both. <laughs> my God, my God, do I love Allison Brie. I just remembered who that is. Christ. <laughs> I am a community fanboy and I'm in love with that girl. Anyway, but she's married to David Franco, the good Franco, uh, as far as we know. Man, that guy's smile. Anyway, um, 
Uh, uh, yeah, somebody else com- also said Brie Larson. Um, anyway, Kiwi Farms basically takes up on behalf of this one of these YouTubers, Twitch streamers, uh, and and starts doxing Keffels, uh, and and starts threatening Keffels. I was oh, I saw in the story. There's this one guy from Kiwi Farms while Keffels is actually out, like fleeing from, hiding from these fucking freaks. Uh, and they're doxing crazy shit. Like she, she posted an update from a hotel she was in hiding yeah. in, and then and they, they figured they out where she like was. The bed sheeting and stuff on bed sheets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Based on the There's other another there. one where they they may have figured out who she was based on doorknobs. This is the one where I'm like, I wonder if they pretended if they did a show to make it seem like that. But that that seems more like somebody somebody that doesn't want her to know they're helping gave well, it up and so they created and i don't know I, she, I i get a little conspiratorial she, about the she also one. she also ran like she had to flee to ireland to get away from these people and at one point there was yep. a social media post about her going out for poutine so she could compare irish poutine with canadian poutine because she's from london ontario you're covering both the right. canadian stories <laughs> Um, right, right, right. That's true. And uh, they they started calling in bomb threats to every restaurant in Dublin that served poutine. Yeah, yeah. Basically, her girlfriend had gone on a stream and said, like, I want to take out Keffels for poutine. And they knew the general area, Dublin, yeah. that she was in. And basically, they they post a map of every place that shows poutine. There's people claiming they're sending three people to each place to be ready uh, with weapons, but also to plant bombs around in case she shows up. Uh, now, granted, most of these people are se- making terroristic threats. They're incapable of actually uh, uh, performing or initiating. It's all about fear. And if you don't believe me, I-, I would like to point out there was a video of one of these people saying, yelling where he's like, we know where you're hiding in Dublin and I am personally coming to detransition you. He screams into it, but he holds up a drill without a drill bit in it. And then he turns it on and just has the drill spinning as he's yelling to detransition you. And I'm sitting here going like, what are you talking about? First of all, if we're talking about what is detransition, you're going to make modifications to the body. Well, you just used a drill, which is something used to drill holes. Certainly you mean an impact driver. You would have needed an impact driver if you were going to, you know, a lot of people use drills as a driver, but you should use a driver as a driver. Uh, So you already don't know which tools if you're going to be adding parts to detransition her. I mean, my God, you're using the wrong one. If you're going to bore more holes, I don't think that's detransitioning. Never make a poorly thought out. Never make a poorly thought out power tools joke to someone who does woodworking as a hobby. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I'm sitting here. I'm literally sitting above my wood shop right now. Uh, <laughs> have you, know, have you made John's like, butt on. plug wand yet? Anyway, so back to, uh, the story of Keffels and Kiwi Farms and, 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 and people being obsessed with genitals, uh, Kiwi Farms, I mean, basically obsessed with genital.com. It could have been, yeah. uh, they had a website that was barely holding on anyway, but there was a specific company called Cloudfare and Cloudfare pr- provided what was called DDoS protection. Basically it prevents, uh, uh, people from forcing your website down, uh, who, who would, would, would want to do such a thing. At least that's my understanding of it. Anybody can correct me. Uh, Cloudflare had in the past protected other websites like 8chan. Um, there's another really they, cringy right wing one. They have a whole history of like, like, oh no, we we're free speech absolutists. We believe in free speech no matter what. And then there's public I, pressure to drop something and then they end up caving to the public pressure and dropping it. And then they go back. Yeah. To, we're free speech absolutists. We believe in absolute. It's, it's a cycle with them. Their defense, their defense has shifted more to like, we offer a public utility that people are like a, basically the equivalent of a public service that anybody can sign up for. And so, uh, the concept of is these are protection tools. So like, even if we hate Nazis, we wouldn't say, don't send the fire department to a Nazi's house well, one, one, with a fire. One of the thing, one of the actual, well, they might've used that one as well, but one of the uh, quotes that I saw was, um, it's kind of like your uh your phone provider They're, your phone provider is not going to stop providing you service because you call up your friends and talk about how <laughs> how much of a nazi you are yeah yeah 
Yeah. So that, I mean, that's whatever their defense was. Anyway, um, then once public pressure started coming and the stock price started going lower, which is honestly what happened, yeah. uh, they went, oh, you know what? We just realized they are making way more terroristic threats, even though they had been doing it all the fucking time. Uh, so we're, we'll go ahead and drop it. And that is essentially what has made it, um, what is, what has created the, the world in which Kiwi farms, I think it was .net, the U S version just simply doesn't exist anymore. Now they're trying to work in Russian on Russian farms and Canada farms or not Canada, Chinese far, uh, uh, server farms. The, the irony there being they're all about how free speech above all, even threats of death, if it's still speech, has to be protected. And they're trying to back up their ability to speak freely on Russian servers and Chinese servers, a place where even if they manage to attack trans people and not get taken down, they won't be allowed to attack Russia or China with free speech yeah. and stay up. The funny, the, the, the irony. So